Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can mine Ravencoin or RVN using your M1 or Intel Mac. I'm not suggesting that you should do this, I'm just going to show you how to do it in case you want to experiment with mining or get your hands on some Ravencoin without having to buy them through an exchange. Bear in mind that if you're using an Intel Mac you'll need either an external GPU or a Mac with a dedicated graphics chip and at least 3GB of VRAM. First you'll need a wallet, so that you have somewhere to store the Ravencoin that you mine. On the Ravencoin website, which I'll link down in the video description, you can find the official Ravencoin wallet as well as a list of third party wallets that support Ravencoin. For this video I'm going to be using Atomic Wallet. Atomic Wallet supports many different cryptocurrencies in addition to Ravencoin, so you can use it to keep all of your cryptocurrencies in one place. There are desktop clients available for macOS, Linux and Windows, as well as mobile apps for iOS and Android. Go to the atomicwallet.io website and click the download button to bring you to the download page. Then click on the icon for macOS. If you see a pop-up asking if you want to allow downloads from atomicwallet.io, click on allow and the wallet will be saved to your downloads folder. Open your downloads folder and double click the DMG file to mount it. Then drag the icon into your applications folder. Go to your applications folder and double click the atomic wallet icon. The first time you run it you'll see a notification from macOS saying that Atomic Wallet is an app downloaded from the internet and asking if you're sure you want to open it. Click on open and Atomic Wallet will run. The first thing you'll need to do is create your new wallet, so click on the button labelled new wallet. On the next page you'll be asked to choose a password. Think of a password with at least 10 characters and type it into both lines. Then click on set password. On the next screen you'll be given a 12 word backup phrase. Write these words down carefully on a piece of paper in the same order that they appear on the screen and store them somewhere safe. If you ever lose or forget these words you'll no longer have access to your cryptocurrency. After writing the words down click on open wallet and you'll be taken to the main wallet overview screen. And that's it your wallet has been created and you're ready to begin sending or receiving Ravencoin. Next you'll need to choose a pool to mine with. You can find a list of pools on the official Ravencoin website, but for this video I'll be using the two miners pool, which is the biggest Ravencoin pool at the time of recording. Go to the two miners.com website, then scroll down and click on Ravencoin to open the Ravencoin pool page. Next you'll need a program to do the actual mining. Ravencoin is mined using the core power algorithm. There are several popular Corpal mining programs including T-Rex, NanoMiner and Team RedMiner. Unfortunately none of these programs are available for Mac. Luckily the open source XM rig mining software which is available for Mac added support for the Corpal algorithm last year. Go to the XM rig GitHub page which I'll link down in the video description, click latest on the right and then scroll down until you see assets. Now look for the version of XM Rig for your Mac. If you're using an Intel Mac you need the version for macOS x64. And if you have an M1 Mac you need the version for macOS ARM64. Click on the link and XM Rig will be saved to your downloads folder. Open your downloads folder and double click on the tar file to extract it. Then drag the entire folder to your applications folder. Now we need to configure the XM rig miner to mine to the two miners pool and add our wallet address. Go to your XM rig folder and look for a file called config.json. This is where XM rig stores its configuration. It's just the standard text file so you can open it up in text edit. Open the file and then scroll down until you find the section headed CPU. Because Ravencon is mined using the GPU, we need to disable CPU mining and enable GPU mining. So under CPU next to enabled, delete the text that says true and type false. Then in the section below that headed OpenCL, next to enabled delete the word false and type true. Then scroll down some more until you find the section headed pools. Next to where it says algo, delete null and type corpow inside speech marks. 
On the next line, we need to change the server address and the port number. On the Two Miners website, scroll down and click on the button labeled Quick Start. This will bring you to a page with a list of server addresses. You'll see that there are separate servers for Europe, the United States and Asia. Choose the server that's closest to you, highlight the address and port number, then press Command and C to copy it to the clipboard. Then switch back to text edit, delete the text in speech marks after URL, and press Command and V to paste the address you just copied. Next you need your wallet address. Switch over to Atomic Wallet, type RVN in the search box at the top to find Ravencoin, and then click the Receive button. A window will pop up containing your wallet address. Click on the button labelled Copy to copy it to the clipboard. Then switch back to Text Edit, delete the text that says Your Wallet Address, and press Command and V to paste it between the speech marks. Finally, immediately after the wallet address, type a period and choose a name for your worker. I'm just going to call mine MBA for MacBook Air. Then you can go ahead and save the file and quit text edit. Now it's time to actually start mining and begin earning some Ravencoin. Go to your XM rig folder and double click on the XM rig icon. The first time you run it, a pop up message will appear saying that XM rig can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. To bypass this, click OK, then open System Preferences and choose Security and Privacy. At the bottom where it says XM Rig was blocked from use, click Open anyway and then click Open. A new terminal window will appear, XM Rig will run, connect to the 2 minus server and start mining. If it doesn't, check that you haven't made any mistakes in the config file. Especially look for missing quotation marks or commas. Finally, I'll show you how to get paid. After you've been mining for a while, you should begin to see some accepted shares appear in green in the terminal window. Once you have a few accepted shares, copy your Ravencoin wallet address from Atomic Wallet, then go to the 2 Miners website and paste it into the box at the top where it says your wallet address. Then press enter or click the magnifying glass icon to bring up your miner statistics. In the middle you'll see how many workers you have online and an estimate of your hash rate. On the left you'll see your unconfirmed Ravencoin balance and your unpaid balance. Your unconfirmed balance is transferred to your unpaid balance approximately every 100 blocks, or about every 2 hours. The payout threshold on 2 miners is 10 RVN. So once your unpaid balance passes that threshold, you'll be paid automatically to the wallet address you specified in the config file. So how much can you earn? On my M1 MacBook Air, I get a hash rate of about 1.5 mega hashes per second, which would be about three Raven coins per day at the time of recording. If you have an Intel Mac with an eGPU, an RX 570 would hit around 10 mega hashes per second and you could expect around 15 mega hashes per second from an RX 5700. I hope this video helps if you've been looking for a way to mine Ravencoin on your own Mac. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.